Namaste, Grand Rising Big Cat Fire Signs. Welcome or welcome back to Big Cat Astrology, Big Cat Wave, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. The planetary hot topics to add to your almanac over the next seven days. On the 12th of May, the Cancer Moon sextiles Venus in Taurus. This alignment sig signifies a harmonious period for matters of the heart, fostering a favorable atmosphere for romance, relationships, and partnerships. Consider taking advantage of this time to host intimate gatherings at home, where the nurturing energy of Cancer and a stable influence of Venus in Taurus can create memorable experiences. Your social interactions are likely to flourish during this period, presenting opportunities for you to expand your social circles and deepen your connections. Furthermore, you might want to consider adding a personal touch to your living, living space, um, per perhaps through redecoration, rearrangement, to enhance the aesthetic appeal and create a more, more harmonious and inviting living atmosphere. On the 13th, the Sun in Taurus is in conjunction to Uranus in Taurus. This conjunction heralds a period of heightened individuality, self-expression. As the, as the sun aligns with the revolutionary energy of Uranus in Taurus, during this phase, you might find yourself drawn to breaking free from societal norms and embracing your unique identity. In matters of love, while there may be moments of temporary happiness, it's also a time for long-term relationships to face challenges as both partners seek greater personal freedom and autonomy. On the 14th, Ceres, the asteroid associated with nurturing from seed to harvest, goes retrograde in Capricorn. Over the next few months, the retrograde motion of Ceres prompts introspection regarding your approach to nurturing and growth, particularly in the pro professional realms. You may find yourself reassessing strategies for career advancement, navigating the corporate landscape with greater wisdom and discernment, being mindful of how your actions and decisions may impact your reputation and public image during this introspective period, as vulnerabilities in these areas may become apparent. On the 15th, Mercury enters Taurus. With Mercury finally merging with emerging from the retrograde, darling dears, the retrograde, and entering the grounded sign of Taurus. It's a time to emerge with stability and practicality in communication and decision-making. Take the opportunity to reflect on your financial plans, business ventures, and relational dynamics with a clear and strategic mindset. Under the influence of Taurus, you 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 are you're encouraged to approach tasks methodically and patiently ensuring that your actions align with your long-term goals and aspirations on the 16th phallus retrograde enters scorpio as phallus the asteroid associated with strategic wisdom moves through retrograde into into scorpio delve deeper into the realms of of the unconscious and intuition you may find yourself grappling with darker thoughts and unresolved issues prompting a journey of self-discovery and transformation embrace the opportunity to confront taboos and expand your understanding of the world by stepping outside your comfort zone and embracing the unknown on the 17th mercury in taurus squares pluto in aquarius this aspect 
challenges you to adapt a strategic and patient approach in navigating obstacles and achieving your goals. Similar to a game of chess, success requires careful planning, calculated moves rather than impulsive actions, resist the temptation for instant gratification and instead focus on the long-term implications of your decisions. On the 18th, Venus in Taurus is conjunct to Uranus in Taurus. Under this alignment, be prepared for unexpected twists and turns in matters of love and relationships. Embrace spontaneity and adventure as you, as you venture beyond your comfort zone to, to connect with someone who challenges you and excites you. Yeah, excites you. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to break free from routine and explore new avenues of romantic expression and personal fulfillment. Please stay tuned in for the tarot reading to follow. Make a wave. Namaste, Grand Rising Fire Signs. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for messages for your next seven days. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Big cat wave. Let's dive in and unpack. Okay, you have the energy of a seven. We'll unpack that in a moment. But first off, we're going to look at the eight, darling dears, where you've landed. And whatever's going on with the eight, that's what knowledge and a new level of wisdom, darling dears. That's where you are. Can you see? Mm -hmm. This is represented by a northeasterly direction, darling dears. That's a message for someone. It also speaks about your spiritual growth, darling dears. You stand in your individual individualism, um, self autonomy, self actualization. It also speaks about you having a more inquiring mind. Good golly and gosh, knowledge is your your go to move over the next seven days. Mm hmm. The energy of the eight, according to Chinese numerology, darling dears. It also speaks about you continuing to pursue your goals with a new, newfound level of dedication, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Your persistence, your tenacity is going to work for you over the next seven days. But it's also, there's also a cautionary side to this, darling dears. Don't be too focused on the materialistic. This is about you, what? Don't be focused on your external success, darling dears. It's about you what getting an equilibrium and even balance between your spiritual as well as your physical realm. Now, according to numerology, right, the number eight, it speaks about what money? Yes, be a bit. Skrilla.com coming towards you, darling dears. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's examine the dice. We have the energy, you have the energy of a one and a two. Can you see? All right. The energy of the one speaks about what? Evaluation of everything, darling dears. Everything. Yes, bestie. Oh, sorry. The power cutout had to plug you back in. 
um as i was saying the energy of the one is about you evaluating everything don't make any major decision until after the next new moon which will be on the 6th of june in gemini darling dears mm -hmm. gemini is about what communication it's about groups it's about getting your ideas out it could be um an idea around higher education darling dears mm -hmm. Some of you could be making a career move, darling, dears, possibly going into information processing, music, teaching, something to do with technology, using your hands, darling, dears. Um, maybe even be um, a delivery driver, you run an errand service, um, accounting, communication job, maybe it's that, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. But we will also press on. Okay, you've got the energy of the six. The six is about cooperation. It could also you be looking at your well-being, your health, darling, dears. Realizing certain energies and vibrations are no longer serving you. Exiting certain people, places and things out of your life. <clears throat> Some of you could be getting a new exercise routine, darling, dears. You may even be a caretaker or going into further training. As I said, you could be in the mind or the mood to what make a career move. Okay. Somebody's also learning a new way of healing sickness. Maybe you're going the homeopathic route. Maybe you're using the natural natural herbs and spices, darling. There's whatever you're doing, you're getting your sea moss on. Love it. I don't hate it. This reading is going to be about the seventh house, darling. There's the house of partnerships. The energy of the seven speaks about um, you're going to be getting a visit, darling, dears, or you're going to be meeting somebody who's going to tell you something that's going to have a profound change on your life. Remember, you're about the knowledge, the information, the wisdom. Pay attention. Mm -hmm. The energy of the one six speaks about um, someone going into a new relationship, maybe one which allows you to have more freedom and self-autonomy. This new relationship will be a happy one for you darling dears okay okay so the energy of the number seven the seven it could be your birthday or it could be a special date or number in your life the seven 16 or 25 that is associated with the letters gpy the number seven is ruled by neptune the planet of illusionment and disillusion yes baby spirituality addictions oneness yes all of this and that Okay, Neptune rules Pisces, and that's associated with the letters O, Z. So you've got G, P, Y, as well as O and Z. Okay, it speaks about you being in what genius mode. You're all cerebral this week, my fire signs. Listen, listen to your intuition in your subconscious mind. Maybe you'll be exploring that more. Mm -hmm. Get into the spiritual side of things, darling dears. Your luckiest numbers over the next few days will be four, five, and seven. Your luckiest days will be... Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. Avoid the numbers 2, 3, 6, and 8. The number 7 is represented by the astrological aspect of a semi-sextile, so it speaks about it being a healing and transformative period for you over the next seven days, but it's all rooted in analysis, wisdom, darling dears. Yeah, a new level of understanding that is, that's being born from self-introspection. Some of you, like I said, you're going to be into the spiritual learning, darling dears. It could also be learning spiritual practices. It could be praying, um, meditating, tarot, numerology, astrology, palmistry, reke, uh, whatever, darling dears. It seems like you've dipped a toe and, listen, from the toe of the cat is in or the paw, you're in it to win it, darling dears. But it's about the seek, your eternal seek for knowledge, darling dears. It's about to be satisfied in a, in a major way. But remember, no major decision until after the 6th of june the new moon in gemini oh i love it i don't hate it so let's get the cards out to remind ourselves of what we're talking about we're talking about neptune okay neptune comes through with sacrifice what did i say letting go of things people places and things that no longer serve you darling dears if you are the smartest cat in the room you need another room darling dears Mm -hmm. You want to be around people that teach you, that pour into you, darling dears. Help you manifest your greatness as you pour into them because new people, new knowledge. You'll be expanding your social circle over the next seven days. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, the seventh house is the house of partnership started as contractual partnerships, whether it's a friendship, a marriage, um, your peers, an agent. Um, this is about you making new contracts. Somebody's also going to be having some kind of lower part, lower court. Lower court could be HR, something to do with that, darling. It's about your career, but things are about to go your way. I heard the word discrimination. Well, no weapon formed against you shall prosper, darling, dears. It also speaks about you being admired for your qualities, darling, dears. I told you, someone or someone's will be going into partnership, and this is going to be like nothing before. Why? You've healed. So you're pulling in, drawing to you what is for you. And look, my kipper deck just fell over when I was pulling out these these are um, planetary and house cards and look what's showing marriage listen everything's a sign in the readings darling dears someone that is going to allow you to have your freedoms and self-autonomy but yet, yet be as supportive pour into you the way you pour into them it's on the energy of a four the four is about security it also speaks about manifestation mode darling dears i love it i don't hate it mm -hmm. neptune is also associated with um um addictions maybe somebody you're freeing yourself from a, some form of addiction whether it's alcohol drugs or even what delusion of the mind darling is looking at things realistically get into the bones maybe it also speaks about what counseling some kind of psychological assistance darling dears if you've got to take antidepressants do it darling dears whatever you need to get cut and go through and get back into realis realism reality okay that's the message for someone um Neptune is associated with the feet, okay? It's a mutable water sign, so it also speaks about you being adaptable again. Water energy, you've got a lot of water energy. It also speaks about relationships. So you'll be having a lot of different family dynamics. Mm hmm okay. All right. The energy of the seven, darling, is... It speaks about you being a great thinker. It also speaks about protection. You are protecting protecting something or you're being feeling more spiritually protected as you pursue this new level of thinking, these new ideas. Mm -hmm. But it's about you what? Continuing to what? Have that death of the ego. Your ego is not your amigo. It's your conscious mind. As I said, you'll be delving into your subconscious over the next seven days. Reprogramming your paradigm, darling dears. Ooh, child. Let's get your oracle ancestral message. Oh, the elastic bands disappeared from this. It didn't even, it must have broken in while it was standing in the, the holder. Mm -hmm. So again, releasing what no longer serves you. Base of the deck is the first card of the deck. It's also the card that's on the book. Do I have the book? Luck is on our side, darling dears. Love it. Yeah, let's get your oracle ancestral message and new beginning for you, darling dears. New beginning, spiritual, spiritual ascension, spiritual studies. Mm -hmm. But it's the 12th, because Neptune rules the 12th house, Pisces, anything, darling dears. It speaks about what some kind of um, privacy, somebody's leaked some kind of secret, this is the house of hidden enemies, darling dears, maybe you'll realise and recognise and realise, I told you, you are what, cutting what no longer serves you, right, you've got ignite your passions and you are in your element, fire guardian, darling dears, mm -hmm. if you're going to get one, get one from your what, guardian angels, base of the deck, summertime, is when things are about to what, kick off for you, Let's look at the deeper meaning and then we'll press on at a hot trot. Okay. The fire guardian is on page 100. Okay, we get rid of the zeros. It goes down to a one. The one speaks about a new beginning, darling dears. The one is representative of um, independence, darling dears. It also speaks about initiating new things. Some of you are going to be stepping into a leadership role. It also speaks about, again, self-autonomy, being self-reliant, darling dears, taking a new approach. Remember, your ego is not your amigo. The energy of the one is also representative of the first house, darling dears. It speaks about a new level of self-awareness and you are adapting your outward behavior. Yes, baby, reading the energy of the room. I told you your intuition and your discernment is going to be off the chain. But be careful of accidents, darling dears, especially involving the feet. Okay, okay, let's see what it says. 
I'm just going to read what jumps out at me for you to screenshot and read at your leisure or your leisure. Okay. You are being guided by your angels to connect with your the powerful energy of desire at this time. If you have recently set an intention to explore your sexual side or become more sexually open, the fire of desire can burn away any old setbacks that are preventing you from expressing that part of your nature. If you are in a relationship, this card can indicate a great spiritual and sexual connection. Ooh, child, it's nice for all of that, darling, this, but remember, instant gratification could bring long-term rot, chaos, darling, this. Make sure you examine the situation before you involve your genitalia and do the watuzi. Okay, let's look at the summer. The summer is on page 142. Can you see it here? Okay, the 142 goes down to what? A seven, darling, this. I can't make this up. Mm -hmm. Two sevens on the tableau is telling you again, always look within. You'll get the answers that you want and deserve, right? Again, it's a reminder that you must continue on this spiritual path that you've taken, my fire signs. Well, you are a spiritual sign. Mm-hmm. This is about you continuing to believe in yourself, darling. This, this is the positive self-talk, the self-validation, encouragement, right? And it also speaks about you sharing. Maybe you have a public speaker. Maybe you are a counsellor or you're in a position to counsel others. Okay, let's go to 142 and quickly read what it says there. Just what jumps out at me. You to screenshot. And read it your leisure or your leisure. Okay. This is the perfect opportunity for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Light has come to banish darkness. Clarity is arriving to, to allowing you to know exactly where you are and how you are how you can move forward. Angels and ancestors, guides are encouraging you to enjoy this moment and not to rush forward because this is a time for pleasure, enjoyment and expansion. There is a great chance that you have extra energy, creativity and inspiration at this time. Notice what is coming to you as it is an inspiration directly from the divine. Love it, darling dears. I don't hate it. All right, let's press on. So you're being encouraged by your ancestors, way showers and spiritual guides, darling dears. You are on the right path. Um, fire energy calling Archangel Michael at any time for assistance. Your guardian angel are definitely protecting your back. Your spirit animal could be the lion or some other cat. A big cat, darling dears. It also speaks about your growth. This growth, darling dears. It's definitely transformation. Mm -hmm. Be careful of what drama, drama filled situations, darling dears. Remember, you are Kalim. Cutting the wheat from the chaff, getting rid of what no longer serves you with no what regret, darling dears. Okay, let's press on. Let's get a deck. Base of your deck. We've got the death card, darling dears. Death card is what? The eighth house. Did we not have the eight at the top of the reed? This is a transformative time for you. Eight is also the number of what? Karma as well as money, Skrilla.com, darling dears, joint finances. And it could be what other people's finances. This could be from a new job. The eighth house is juxtaposed to the second. The second is about your income, darling dears, your resources, as well as not only your material, but your non-material resources. You may work for the government in some kind of government role. It could be the prison service. We already had the 12th house. You could be a medical worker, darling dears. Um, we already said accountants. Um, civil servant, yes, yeah, something major is going your way, darling. There's some kind of desire, some kind of urge. It also speaks about big business. Maybe you're going into a partnership or you're getting a promotion. Fabulous, gorgeous, and lovely. Okay, you fell off the back end. Your first card, you're going to have a reason to celebrate, darling. There's the three of cups is Mercury, as well as what cancer energy, darling. There's base of the deck. This is quick movement. Some, well, you see it coming. It also speaks about protection, but it also speaks about love, darling, dears. Possibly some meeting someone. It could be in a work situation. 
this is going to be something different for you because we all know that we don't watch shit on our own doorsteps. That's right, I said it and I'm not taking it back. Yeah, but this is a quick communication, darling dears. And it also speaks, speaks about being struck by somebody's words, somebody who has a superior wisdom. Good golly and gosh, a like-minded soul is coming towards you after all the difficult situations that you've had to overcome. The Two of Cups, the light of the Two of Cups is shining on you again, Scorpio energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it also speaks about what? Negative thoughts, darling dears. This is you what realizing again this positive self-talk that you must put out because it's going to bring success in your life over the next seven days. And it also speaks about some form of promotion. Somebody's also moving towards um the purchase of a new vehicle, a new home, possibly a new business. It could also represent a website, darling dears. Yeah, this is you exploring all of your options. Two sevens on the tableau. Back at that again, darling dears. As a, even though you're exploring these new options, make sure it's in alignment with your spiritual purpose. Knight of Wands, you've got somebody from the past wanting to come back. This person is a gossip, darling dears. Good golly and gosh, what do the cards say about that? Have no faith in them and listen, remember, they're an ear hustler, darling dears, trying to bring you down. Ace of Swords is the truth. Roof, darling, dears. Clarity. And it also speaks about having their file. You recognize this energy, darling, dears. This is about you moving swiftly away. You don't have to answer anybody's questions, darling, dears. Yeah. Seek harmony and balance. Don't give out any personal information to past people. They're just coming in for gossip. Yeah. The help, Leoc. Libra energy again, the seventh house, darling dears. You're going to be making some kind of major decision or contract, something that you've manifested, darling dears. You're utilizing your bad ass alchemist ways. It's going to cause a lot of jealousy and confusion around you. Mm -hmm. Jealousy and confusion, but this is about forward movement, darling dears. It also speaks about you being more confident going forward. We haven't had any pentacles out at this moment in time. We've got the High Priestess coming through with secrets, darling dears. Somebody's going to try and disclose some kind of secret. Damage your reputation. Yeah, trying to cause some trauma and drama. This is about you, what? Navigating that situation gracefully. Why let them talk, darling dears? It's about your security, your foundation, whoever that message is for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gemini Energy plus the Page of Swords, darling dears. Gemini, air energy, page of swords, air energy. This is you having what? A new lease on life. And for others, this is what? You meet having a meeting of mind, style in dears. The page represents the fled, fledgling stages. I think you're going to maybe take up this offer. This looks like a romance in the working situation. Pen, and now the pentacle has come through. It's the right partner you found, darling dears. But take your time with it, darling dears. Get to know them. Get to know them. Queen of Wands plus the Hangman. You plan, plot and strategize this, darling dears. You're going to see the situation from a new perspective. Somebody is also deeply attracted to you. They want to offer you an 11-11 fade. This also speaks about what? Going out on dates. Expanding your social circle. This is how you're going to meet this person. Where you're in a situation where there is no drama. Strength card. Big Cat Leo energy is the what? The um... The fifth house, darling, is the house of romance and dating, as well as your creativity. Past situation with someone who played in your face, darling, is king of wands. Look, the deck is finished. Those are the messages. Those are the messages or massages. Let's get a final note and then we're out of here to get great. I'm going to go with the keeper card because it showed us the marriage card, some kind of union, a major decision, but it's going to be one. That's going to be made in balance. Why? Because you've got the intel. I told you the energy of the eight, according to Chinese numerology, means what? Knowledge and wisdom, darling dears. If you're going into a partnership, it will be based on knowledge and wisdom. And doing what? Thorough research. On any any partnership of any level, darling dears. What's this? Yeah, you're going to be making right choices. New contracts, darling dears. New contracts. Bringing change into the situation. Nine, something coming to fruition. But a new harmony, a new beginning. Mm -hmm. The lovers is about what? Physical connection. Somebody's also going to be embarking on a short trip. We've already said north east direction. This is unexpected income, which can come in many forms. Not just the Skrilla, darling dears. Knowledge, um, new partnerships. Yeah, somebody's concerned about this new beginning that you have. Or somebody may try to cause you concern in your situation. But they can't 
they can't listen. Who God bless, no one can curse. And the energy of the 11 is a master number, darling dears. You are a master. What healer? You've, you've healed many a wound, darling dears, with your adaptability. But you're going to be put in a position over the next seven days to either teach, speak, or write something of significance, which is going to inspire others, darling dears, to come out of what? The dark night of the soul and find security from within. We've got it on the 20. The 20 is the judgment card, darling dears, for a new renewal. But past people or circumstances or situations aren't going to be happy about you letting them go, darling dears. They want you to stay and what be in the crevice of the devil's balls, just like them. On that note, I drops me mic. Todd love to my Teesprings, my Patreon, or my TikToks, where I also upload videos. Thank you very much for your continued support of me in this channel. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, make your wave. Until we meet again. On these tarot streets. Cat, cat. Cat, cat.